Well, China is getting international support to tackle the coronavirus outbreak. From South Africa, a consignment of face masks will be flown to the city of Wuhan, where they are urgently needed. CGTN's Julie Shire reports. The deadly coronavirus is spreading fast. Over 360 people have died, surpassing the number of deaths caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome in 2003. Global aid and medical supplies have been pouring into China. South African company Umask is also lending a hand with a donation of 30,000 protective masks. The pandemic started in China. It's, it's most severe in China. Um, the rest of the world, it's, it's still at uh, beginning phases, but the, the Chinese, are, they're fighting this virus head on. It's not just a fight for, for, for China. It's not just a fight for, uh, for Asia. And we, we, need to, uh, we need to make sure that uh, this virus doesn't, uh, doesn't make its way to, to Africa. And this is, this, is, this is our way of helping. We also believe that it is time for us as an African business to step up and assist China, whereby it is always Africa that is receiving aid. It is now our time Correct. to offer aid to China. The consignment was handed over to China's ambassador to South Africa. It will be flown free by Air China in the coming days to Wuhan, the epicenter of the outbreak. We'd like to take this opportunity to express our sincere and heartfelt sense to the South African government and people. You see, this kind is not only the very sympathy or the donation, but the significance and the importance of this kind of gesture it goes far beyond itself. So this is so our solidarity to work together to fight against these global challenges to us. So it is, we are very encouraged, we are very in touch. In China. This and is a very good example of South-South collaboration, where two countries which were historically developing countries can now help each other with high-end products. Uh, I visited the factory just now and it's clear that these products that are manufactured here are of very high quality. So we are very encouraged by this example of South-South collaboration when the world actually needs examples of multilateralism. The coronavirus has spread across China's borders to more than 15 countries as far as Australia, Canada and the United States. But there's a glimmer of hope. Close to 500 Chinese people have been treated and cured and the virus has not yet made its way to Africa. Julie Shire, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.